Yeah, my name is Jaeyoung Kim. Uh, today I'd like to talk about, learn about RCS workflow and test model in the component library. As you know, RCS describe an object in terms of its scattering properties when exposed to instant uh, EM field. Uh, for RCS calculation, you need two different fields. Uh, the first one is scatter field and second one is instant field. The RCS formula gives the idea how to calculate the RCS value. So according to this uh, formula, when R is approached to uh, infinite, then 4 pi R square over EI square become brain wave on the object. So RCS is estimated in front of the object by calculating a scattering field when a frame wave is in, is in instant on, on the object. So RCS is a newly given by this equation, scatter field of instant, field, instant frame wave on the object. So based on this uh, formula, we can set up FECO to calculate RCS for this post uh, pre processing, we use plane wave source as a source, and we use five field request for monostack RCS calculation by checking calculate field in plane wave instant direction. Uh, for example, let's calculate the RCS value of rectangular plate whose size is one by one square meter at one gigahertz. According to analytic, analytic form, you can calculate RCS value at normal instant 139.5. If you use FECO using frame wave source and file field request, the FECO give you the RCS value. Here 137.4 which is very similar to analytic uh, calculation. The second step uh, for RCS workflow is uh, selecting the for, uh, best FECO solver. Uh, here, FECO, uh, uh, FECO give you know, many different uh, solver solution. The first one is a full wave, uh, such, a, such as MOM, method of moment, and MLFMM and ACA. MOM target is to make impedance matrix for the generated mesh structure. And MLFMM is stand for multi-level fast multiple method. MLFMM is designed to decrease the number of the coupling calculation among the mesh element. ACA is to use ACA is designed to use selective rows and columns to compress the impedance matrix, so it's called uh, cross approximation. In terms of computational resource, as you can see here, for the same simulation structure, uh, ACA and MLFM give you a benefit, right, in memory saving and computational line time saving. Another uh, RCS solver option is asymptotic EM solver, such as PO, physical optics, and uh, RLGO, ray launching geometric optic. Okay. PO uh, only consider diagonal terms of the impedance matrix, so that's why PO generate uniform current when the, uh, the, when the incident, a normal incident compared to the MOM current, RLGO generates very small mesh, number of mesh compared to MOM. But as you can see in this graph, RLGO give a good uh, RCS calculation value, even if in, and even if a normal incident and also the Oblique instant because RLGO can consider, FECO RLGO can consider edge and wedge deflection. Of course, uh, asymptotic methods also give you 
good benefit in terms of computational resource, time, and memory. The third step for the RCS workflow is post-processing. Post-processing is, uh, is to display output or investigate the RCS result. PDF stands for probability density function. PDFs help you understand the target detectability better. The PDF graph was created by using Lua script easily in Fosfico. The second uh, post-processing method is intensity, five, uh, intensity plot. Intensity plot clearly help you check which envelope target has the biggest RCS. The, the third post-processing method is ISA, Inverse Synthetic Aperture Radar. ISA is a backscattering image by using 2D inverse Fourier transform for target recognition. You can use the pre-built macro for CADFICO and FOSPICO for ISA generation. ISA image generation. The first one is HRRP, High Resolution Range Profile. Those plot is also supported by the macro, built, pre-built macro. HRRP is uh, required for automatic target recognition. So those macro help you convert the frequency range, which is RCS simulation in FICO to the range domain, as you can see here. The RCS test model can be founded in FECO's uh, component library. The component library uh, provides basic and advanced antenna and platform. Those are easy to use, and you can easily modify, extend, for further your antenna and RCS simulation. Here are basic RCS objects, genetic simple shape for simulation and measurement validation, RCS amount, cone spear, cone spear with a gap, and double ogive, and ogive. So you can use this basic shape for your validation study. So I also add uh, some useful flying RCS object, which is also founded, supported by FECO component library, quadcopter, uh, whose length is 0.4 meter, helicopter 20 meter, plane, airplane, commercial airplane 70 meter, satellite 11 meter. These are default dimension, but if you want, you can change, okay, you can change the dimension size, okay. And the default material is also PEC. You also change the property, electric property of this, uh, this, this object. So, so I like to uh, rec just recommend some EM solver to widely, okay, to effectively solve those kind of flying objects. So for quadcopter, you may use full wave solver, MLFMM, ACA, also sometimes MOM. For helicopter, you can use full wave solver, an asymptotic solver, PO or RLGO. Plane, uh, plane is because it's it's quite big, so I think uh, I like to recommend you to use asymptotic solver. Satellite, satellites. For the satellite, you can use full wave solver or syntax solver. Of course, the solver selection depends on the RCS target frequency. So, and then also your computational power. Okay, this is the end of my presentation.